Hi, and welcome to another Wondershare Recover It video. Today, I'll show you how to fix the secure boot enabled but not active issue. Secure Boot is a security feature that checks if the software your computer is starting with is safe. Sometimes it might be turned on but not working correctly, which can cause problems for your computer. So in this video, we'll run you through some simple steps to make sure that Secure Boot is working correctly to keep your PC safe. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel with notifications turned on and leave any comments you have down below as we love hearing from you guys and answering any questions. Now let's get into fixing the Secure Boot issue. Firstly, your computer's firmware might not be up to date. You see, the firmware is like the brain of your computer that controls everything it does, including Secure Boot. If it's outdated, it might not work well with newer security features like Secure Boot, even if it's turned on. Secondly, there might be a mismatch in the settings between your operating system and the firmware. Think of it a bit like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. If the settings in your computer's operating system don't match what the firmware expects for Secure Boot, it won't activate properly even though it's enabled. Understanding these reasons can help us to figure out how to get Secure Boot working correctly, ensuring your computer is safe and secure. Now here's where we get stuck into the real business. We've handpicked three reliable methods that will help you to fix any issues where Secure Boot is enabled but not active. I've found that simply enabling Secure Boot can help to fix the problem. What it does is ensures that only trusted software with a recognized signature can boot up on your computer. This way, it will prevent any malicious software from starting, enhancing your system's security and integrity during the boot process. Here's how to do this. Firstly, press the restart button on your computer to begin the process. As the computer starts, press the required key to enter the BIOS setup for your particular machine. This is normally F2, F12, delete or escape. Next, look for the secure boot option in the BIOS settings. This is usually under the security or boot tab. Select secure boot and change its status to enabled. Save your changes by following the prompts, then exit the BIOS. Your computer will now restart with secure boot activated. These steps should help you activate Secure Boot, enhancing your computer's security. Disabling the compatibility support module helps by making sure your computer fully operates in UEFI mode, which is a requirement for Secure Boot to function correctly. This transition eliminates legacy BIOS features that might conflict with Secure Boot, thereby enhancing the security measures that protect your system during the startup process. Firstly, restart your computer. As the computer starts, press the required key to enter the BIOS setup for your particular machine once again. This often is F2, F12, delete or escape. Look for the CSM or legacy mode option within the BIOS UEFI settings. This is often found under the boot, security or advanced tabs. Select the CSM or legacy mode option and choose disabled. This action ensures that your system fully utilizes UEFI mode, which is required for Secure Boot. Save the changes by following the on-screen prompts, then exit the BIOS UEFI settings and your system will reboot with the changes applied. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the issue and get your computer running smoothly without any hiccups. When you change the platform to UEFI mode, it aligns the system's firmware settings with the prerequisites for Secure Boot activation. This ensures the system operates under a modern security standard, which allows Secure Boot to verify and secure the boot process effectively. This will also prevent unauthorized software from loading during startup. Begin by restarting your computer. As soon as the light comes up, once again enter the BIOS menu by pressing the corresponding key, which is usually either F2, Delete, F12 or Escape. Within the BIOS menu, find the Secure Boot settings. This might be under Security, Boot or Advanced, depending on your motherboard. Look for an option labelled Platform Mode or something similar. You'll typically find options to switch between UEFI and Legacy or CSM mode. Select UEFI mode to ensure compatibility with Secure Boot. Make sure that Secure Boot is set to enabled within the same section, save your BIOS settings and exit. 
After following those steps, your computer will now restart with those new settings in effect. It will allow Secure Boot to become fully active and you'll have your system back to normal. Backing up your computer is a crucial step to avoid data loss, and the good thing is Wondershare You Back It offers a straightforward and effective method for safeguarding your data. Here's how to use You Back It to back up your data. Start by downloading Wondershare You Back It from its official website and install it on your Windows PC. Open You Back It and select the type of backup you wish to perform. You Back It allows for file backup, partition backup, disk backup and even specific backups like Outlook emails. For a file backup, you can select specific files or folders. If you're doing a disk or partition backup, select the respective disk or partition you'd like to secure. Decide where you want your backup stored. This could be an external hard drive, another partition or a NAS device. Ensure the destination has enough space to accommodate the backup and with your source and destination selected, click on the backup button to start the process. You back it will show the progress and you can continue working as it backs up your data in the background. You back it also offers the option to schedule backups. This ensures your data is regularly updated without manual intervention. You can set the frequency to run daily, weekly or monthly depending on your needs. By following these steps, you can ensure your data is protected against unexpected loss, providing peace of mind and securing your digital life. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any other reliable methods for fixing a secure boot enabled but not active problem. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to help us grow and I'll catch you in the next video.